You watched it live here on Local 4. An emotional reunion tonight for a mother and her son. The son served more than two decades in prison for the murder of a 12-year-old girl. All along, Lamar Monson maintained he did not commit the crime, even though a jury convicted him. Jermont Terry live with the story. And Jermont, tonight he's out, thanks in part to the Innocence Project. Devin, the Innocence Project fought hard to get this case reviewed. And while this man spent nearly two decades, more than two decades behind bars, the timing of his release could not have come at a better time. Munson left the jail behind me this evening just one day after his 45th birthday, a free man and with his mother by his side. No longer wearing prison garments, Lamar Munson is out on bond and heads right over to his family and supporters at the Wayne County Jail. Years and 12 days. That's how long Monson spent in prison. We need to keep the doorway clear. But Wednesday night, he stepped foot outside for the first time, not confined to prison guards. It's just surreal. I've been dreaming about this air, this time. You know, just to hug my moms and them and be free and have my name being cleared. His mother, elated to embrace the son she believed was never guilty, despite the 1997 second degree murder conviction of 12 year old Christina Brown. You might spend some time in prison. People might talk about you, put you down, and say you did this and said you did that. But don't nobody really know what you've done but God. Munson believes it was God who allowed the Michigan Innocence Project to review his case. I knew that this day would someday come, and I've just been hopeful because I knew it wasn't in my hands, but it was in his hands. So For several years, the Innocence Project argued the conviction and 30-year prison sentence should be overturned. That's the problem with the criminal justice system. It takes on the average of 11 years for a person who claims actual innocence to actually be heard. New evidence with someone else's fingerprints on the murder weapon allowed the judge to overturn the conviction. They trusted and knew that I am not the type of person that would do something like that. And while he's free now, the freedom could be short-lived. And it's up to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office to decide where to go from here. And uh, I'm hopeful that ultimately this case will be dismissed. Monson is also thinking of the 12-year-old's family. I hope that they are hopeful that justice will be done for them and, and, right. the, and the process That's moving right. forward. And we're looking forward to that too. For now, he heads home. Go home and spend time with my family. There's going to be a whole lot of tears, a whole lot of snot, and we're going to love each other. <laughs> A lot of happy people this evening outside the county jail. Tonight, there's no word from Kim Worthy's office if she will, in fact, retry Munson. But if he does, um, I'm told he tells me that he is confident that he will remain a free man. Reporting live in downtown tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. It was an extraordinary scene this evening. All right, Jermont.